show. I'm your host, Rebecca Davy. Now today we are joined with a very, very special guest. Now she's one of the ladies that you may have seen on the docu series. That's the R. Kelly docu series featuring victims of R. Kelly's abuse. Now. Where do I even start? For? I think I'm going to let her introduce herself because wow. there is so much to touch upon with her. She's got such an incredible story to tell. She's so empowering and I'm, I'm going to give it all to you. It's such a pleasure to have you here. I am a platinum recording artist, singer, songwriter. Um, I dabble in, um, you know, acting a little bit. Um, so um, I'm just... Um, I'm Sparkle. I'm a well-rounded girl. I am a uh, woman. I feel like that are f that I am for women of all colors and races. However, um, and yeah, I just want to shine my light wherever I can. You were actually one of R. Kelly's artists. Right? Yes, I was um, signed to R. Kelly um, back in '96, '7 and started working on my debut album where he wrote and produced the whole first album of mine. Um, Be Careful, one of uh, my hits off that um, um, album was a duet with him. And yeah, that's how it came about. What's his role at the time? Like, was he like a mentor? How, uh, what was his role to you at the time? Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, definitely mentor. Um, I was his protege. So I learned a lot from him being in the studio just um, and with um, writing songs, um, performing um, the whole lot. So, um, you know, he is a great writer, um, you know, um, great singer. Um, but, you know, he has his demons. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. So way back when, <laughs> way, way, way back when, um, a girlfriend of mine introduced us. Um, she and he were really good friends. And um, she brought me down to the studio where he was working with um, an, another artist. And she wanted him to hear me sing. Um, I didn't sing for him that particular time, but a few years later, um, we were reintroduced. And... Um, was asked to come down to the studio and I got to sing for him then. And that's when, you know, the ball went to rolling for me to sing on Aaliyah's first album. Mm -hmm. And, and then, and then later on, I got to do my. No signs at all. I was oblivious to anything that was going on that, uh, you know, going on around me. Um, you know, unfortunate that I didn't see anything because if I had seen anything back then, I would have spoke up then. So, yeah. And that's what I love about you, Sparkle, because as well as being an artist and empowering woman, woman, I feel like you, you're so courageous and you're, you want to use your voice to help others. And I find that a lot of people in the industry that are aware of certain things, however... Yeah, they don't. Yeah. yeah. They, I don't think people want to touch it because maybe they feel like... Um, the, you know, some men may to themselves be in some type of situation where they don't want their stuff to be let out there. Um, but, you know, I just, I just feel like if you see something, say something. And unfortunately, it had to do with my niece that um, I brought my family and I introduced um, Robert to, you know, my entire family because we are a musical family. Um, you know, his horns hooked into my niece somehow. And yeah. It's unfortunate because we, I felt like we were family, Robert and I, we, he, he was a part of the family. He, you know, um, I, I thought of him as a, um, you know, a brother or like a girlfriend, I, I say, because, you know, he and I could talk just about anything. Imagine, goodness me. So, so you, you just brought up in regards to your niece, what were your thoughts? What was on your mind? What was your reaction when you saw the tape? Oh my God, I broke down. I, I couldn't believe it. And I'm just like, you know, what's going on here? Like, why would he even do this? What, what's his problem? You know what I mean? Um, and it's a sickness, it's an illness. Um, and like I stated, he's dealing with demons upon demons because it's continuous, you know, you know. 
Yeah, I was I was really upset. I was yeah, I was really really upset. I can imagine. And then like during the trial, what, what surprised me was that the the teachers said it was your niece. Your mm -hmm. niece's best friend said it was your niece. However, the family. Yeah, the 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 teachers, yeah. the the best friends, yeah. um, police officers, mm -hmm. um, basketball coaches. Um, his parents of her, you know, of her best friends all came, you know, it was like 11 to 15 people who stated that's her, but the family didn't want to say it was her because I guess, you know, he had, Robert had gotten to them some kind of way and told them, look, whatever, whatever, I'll do this for you or that for you. Maybe, I don't know the situation, but you know, they didn't, um, state it was her and he got off because she didn't come forward. Do you, do you think he would have paid them to silence them? I'm sure anything is possible with him. Um, you know, it's not, you know, unknown that he doesn't pay people off. He's paid many of girls off to, you know, get them out of the way, so to speak, and, and not um, shed the light on him and, and, and his wrongdoings. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, I don't know for sure if they were, so... I, you know, I can't really say yes or no to that. So I don't know. Right now, in terms of the docuseries out, what has the reaction been like? Has there been like backlash? Have people been supportive? What, what have people been like? Yeah. The Vibe and R. Kelly um, documentary was, was great. And then it was, it had its, had its stings as well um, because it was only a, a six hour docu documentary. And I sat in the hot seat, if you will, for four and a half, five hours speaking my truth. And, you know, as other people probably sat just as long, if, if, if not longer, in the hot seat. But they can only show, you know, the hours that they have uh, for it. So everything can't be shared with the, with the audience. So there were things that are missing, you know, that I stated that had me to get backlash from it. Um, but the support has been really great as well. Um, so I won't dwell on the backlash. I'm just going to keep pushing and, and staying positive and, and, you know, and just um, allowing the positivity to come to me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there are, you know, there are those people that won't believe, even if they see it firsthand um, in their face, <laughs> they still won't believe. But, you know, those are those people. So what has what the support been like? The support has been really good. I've, I've gotten a lot of support from people and I've got people wanting to share their stories with me. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, many of DMs, um, you know, stating, giving me their stories, asking me how I can assist them and possibly, you know, shining a light or to get them some assistance. Um, so yeah, the, the support has been really, really good. And I'm really thankful for the, the support that I've been given. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what you need right now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's been a hard, hard road. Um, just to bring it back to to light. Um, you know, I didn't want to do the documentary, the Surviving R. Kelly documentary, but I didn't want others telling my story um, and then getting it wrong. Um, so I, I, you know, Dream Hampton being one of the um, producers, um, ex executive producers on the piece, you know, reached out to me and my team. And she said, Sparkle, I want to um, shine a light on you. I want to, um, you know, let people know that you were the first one to bring this to light. And this mm -hmm. can only happen because of you. So, you know, I was, you know, happy to, you know, be a part and in any way because, you know, Dream, Dream is a big deal to me. And, and she was a big deal in the industry. She still is now to, to today. So, yeah. We video, it gets edited. Yes. Huh. Oh, what was missing that you want people to know or be made aware about? Um, the fact that I didn't just hand uh, Robert my niece mm -hmm. um, in a bag, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, I had my sister and my brother-in-law to bring her down to the studio where I was working on my first album. And because she had that it factor and she was a really great rapper at the time, I wanted him to see her and um, listen to her. And, um, you know, possibly make her a superstar like he was, you know, about to make me. And um, I, I brought in other family members um, who played instruments because he, he did um, 
he was blessed with um, getting the imprint, like you stated, the Rockland imprint on Interscope Universal. And he, he would need heads. He would need bodies to fulfill some of those entities, like uh, singers, rappers, um, musicians, the alike. So I wanted them to, you know, come in, possibly fill some of those spaces that he would need. And that is why um, I introduced my entire family. Like I stated, we are a musical family and I wanted to share the love. I didn't want to be selfish with the gift that God had blessed me with. So I wanted to spread the love within my family. So that's why I introduced the family. And unfortunately, it didn't turn out really great. Yeah. I mean, what can ladies or even like girls who want to come in the industry, what, what key piece of advice would you give them? Because I, I know Aaliyah was like, she was 12 years old when she met him. What was what was well, I would say now, because the internet is so such a great tool, um, I would say try it on your own. You really don't need anybody to really succeed these days. You can really get the oomph about yourself, you know, and make it on your own. YouTube, um, the internet worldwide is a great tool for anybody who's wanting to get in the business because there are so many people that are being um, discovered on YouTube, you know, on um, Instagram, on Twitter, you know, there, there's a bevy of different um, outlets that, you know, you can post your, you singing and people can find out you out that way. There's so many superstars now that have been um, reached via the internet. So I would say do that and be, be very, very careful um, if you do um, enter those realms where you are, um, someone is seeking you out and be very careful with that as well because you just never know um, Like in my case, I thought I was you know entrusting um, My family to someone that you know that I really cared for um, and, and He was my brother. He was my really great friend But in the end he preyed upon that and he preyed upon the vulnerability um, of my family and of you know my niece so yeah, I would just really look out for those different things. Surviving our Kelly piece really shows you the different ins and outs of what can go wrong and what can happen um, in a situation. You know, you know, girls are just enamored by stardom, but please be aware. You have the signs. Know the signs. If not, if you, even if you don't believe just this particular piece. Just, just know that it's been stated and just what to look for. Totally, totally agree with you. It's amazing how life works out because through life's adversities, that's where we find our greatest moments. That's where yes. they come from. Yes. It's, it's such a blessing in disguise. It really is. Um, the, the new single, We Are Ready, which is also attached to the Survivor and R. Kelly piece, um, it's on the end of the documentary. Um, it was a song that came about, um, actually I was in the studio late 2017 working uh, on the, the new EP that's slated to come out this summer. Um, and it wasn't one of the songs that I had recorded, but when I um, sat down to do the documentary, I went back in the studio and I wrote, um, along with a few other people, this great anthem, um, We Are Ready. And it just speaks to the time and to the moment um, of what not just women are going through because I've, I've been um, inundated with a lot of um, DMs from guys who said, this song really helped me um, in a place where I was. So I'm really happy about that. but. Yeah, We Are Ready is, I feel, a great anthem. Um, like I stated, it speaks to the time and the moment, not just for, you know, the R. Kelly um, situation, but worldwide. You see all of the stuff that's going on in our world. It's just crazy. But, you know, we are ready. We are ready. <laughs> There's a, a few parts of We Are Ready that I, I totally love, Spock, and I'm actually going to... Share it, share it, share it. <laughs> So it was in the first verse, you say, I quote, it says, they have tried to silence us, strip away the powerful mouse, said that we were weak long enough, but time is up. They yes. on to say, we have a voice and it's loud. We didn't yes. have to figure it out. When we come together, we win. We overcome battles. We fought. We'll do it again. Again. Oh. Yes, Rebecca. <laughs> 
what was going through your mind? Because these lyrics um, are very, very powerful. Very powerful. Everything. It was just, just everything about it was going through my mind. I just, I felt that, you know, and I felt that other women would feel that because they can't silence us. We have to speak up. We have to make our voices heard. And if we see something, we should say something for our fellow girlfriends, our fellow, you know, just guy friends, just the whole ramp, um, gamut of, of just the world at large. Like we see something, say something. We have the power. Our voice is powerful. You know, speak, speaking is powerful. You know what I mean? It can't silence us. They can't take away anything from us if we speak up and we speak loud enough. And, and if, if many of us speak together, then we'll be heard but we are stronger they don't know that we are stronger <laughs> <laughs> yeah um you know, i i just would like i stated i just would say if you see or you hear of your fellow girlfriend a guy friend who who needs a hand to hold hold the hand and go with them and and you know if they can't speak for themselves speak up like in my niece's case she didn't want to speak you know, I don't know what hold that he may have on her or what have you, but because she didn't want to speak, even if she didn't want to speak, I was going to speak up for her anyways, because I felt, you know, the responsibility because I introduced my family to him. So I felt responsible in that, that I needed to speak up, not, not only because it's wrong, it's the right, right thing to do for me. So... Amazing. I mean, what, what would you say with everything that has gone on, what has been your key teacher? What, what have you learned? What's the biggest thing you've learned? Oh, the biggest thing I've learned um, is you can find family outside of family. Um, you know, family sometimes will let you down. Um, you know, blood isn't, isn't everything. Um, and there are some members of family who aren't blood related. Do you know what I mean? I could, fr I can find a really great friend in you, you know, you, 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 we, you and I don't share the same blood, but I can find a great friend in you and you can become my family. So I had to look outside of my blood family for my family because it's torn the family, um, the division has come again because of the situation and not from my doing, but from his doing, he's continuously doing wrong and upping the game, if you will, on, on just craziness because he's now still has two girls who can't see their, their parents. And I feel sorry for the parents and, and, and those girls as well, because they're brainwashed. Um, he's a great manipulator, Robert is. So I would just, you know, just hold on to that, that you can find family outside of um, your blood and, you know, and gain great friendships in that. Um, yeah, I, I would say that's been my real eye opener, um, this long road that I've had to endure. It's true, I agree. You, you can find family outside. Yeah. Of I, I love my family. Family means so much to me. So it's disheartening to, you know, lose them again. But um, I'm praying God that he will cover all. What's, what's next, Sparkle? What's next? What's next? Well, the EP is coming out this summer. Ooh, I'm, excited yeah. about that. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Hopefully a tour, you know. Um, and I have some other things in the works that um, possibly we'll be able to share a little bit, you know, down the line when, you know, it all come, comes together. Um, but yeah some great exciting things and i'll share with you as as they come about <laughs> so we'll have to keep in touch definitely okay i'm excited to hear and like seeing your journey and everything it's it's so empowering you're inspiring millions of people already around you. You and you're giving these women and men who are whether they're currently going through abuse or had once gone through abuse yeah voice, voice. i always i've said you know in 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 we are ready piece um the song that you know it was there was just just me before there was a me too because i fought this fight alone for so long and i'm happy that these you know entities are coming along and kind of get my back now um but yeah the fight continues you know and 
just happy that we are ready. Um, I'm giving a, a portion of proceeds back to a few different charitable entities that support um, sexual, physical, and mental abuse. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would love for you guys, your audience, to take a listen to it. And, um, yeah, so I, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 you know, trying to do a great thing. <laughs> Can the audience listen to We Are Ready? Where can they find you? Where can they connect with you? Where can they see your journey? Yes. So um, um, on social media, I'm at I Sparkle I, and um, they can stream, listen, buy, download We Are Ready on all digital platforms, iTunes. They can go on YouTube and check it out. They can go to Pandora. They can go, you know, there's it's everywhere. Um, yeah. Um, Spotify, it's everywhere. So yeah, just and you know, put me in Sparkle. We are ready and check me out. <laughs> I mean, once again, Sparkle, I love your endurance. I love your resilience. I love the fact that you are able to speak out and step up and stand out for the means Thank of people you. across the globe who who need that support. You know, I really do. Oh my God, I really do. And I really appreciate all that I've gotten so far with you and, 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 the, and others that, you know, have just been really supportive and, and wanted to speak to me and, you know, and just speak about um, we are ready and, and all the woes that I've been going through, the ups and downs and the greatness um, and not so great. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate you so much. Yeah, I appreciate you too, Sparkle. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, Rebecca. Incredible. I look forward to our follow-up interview where yes. so much greatness because I see yes. so much greatness coming your way. So amazing. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, we just like cut off just then. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like sparkle, and it was just like literally going slow motion. Like, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so coming back to the question that I just asked.